electrical components, we use a meter called an ohmmeter. This here is an ohmmeter with its own battery supply. Warning, make certain that power is off and the circuit is open before installing the ohmmeter or the meter may be damaged. To measure the resistance of a lamp, connect the test leads to the lamp socket terminals. Set the range selector switch to high range and read resistance values on the top scale. The resistance of this lamp is approximately 21 ohms. Now, install a second lamp in parallel and measure total resistance. The ohm meter indicates 10 ohms, which is one half the resistance of a single lamp. With a third lamp in parallel, the resistance is 7 ohms. Notice this is one third the resistance of a single lamp. To determine the total resistance of equal loads connected in parallel, you need only to divide the resistance value of one divided by the total number of loads. The resistance of three lamps in parallel is equal to 21 ohms divided by three, which equals seven ohms. Now measure the individual resistance of two different wattage rated lamps. The first one is a smaller wattage lamp. It measures 42.6 ohms. The second one is a higher wattage and measures 21.4 ohms. Connect the two lamps in parallel and measure their total resistance. Notice the combined resistance is 14.4 ohms, not 42 or 21 ohms. Well, it's obvious from this example that the simple method used for equal value resistances doesn't apply. When loads are connected in parallel, the effect on the circuit is the same as having one load with a resistance value that is less than that of the smallest resistance in parallel. This is called an equivalent resistance. In actual practice, it's often impossible to use an ohmmeter for measuring resistance in parallel. It's then necessary to use another tool, mathematics, to calculate total resistance. The math you'll use is derived from Ohm's law. In parallel circuits, all voltages are equal. Total voltage equals E1 equals E2 equals E3. And the total current is the sum of the individual branch currents. To determine the resistance, substitute the Ohm's law formula for current in each part of the total current equation. Step 1. Ohm's law states that current total equals voltage total divided by resistance total. Therefore, branch current equals branch voltage divided by branch resistance. Step 2. And since current total equals current 1 plus current 2 plus current 3, Step 3. By substituting Ohm's law for the values of current, you obtain voltage total over resistance total is equal to voltage 1 over resistance 1 plus voltage 2 over resistance 2 plus voltage 3 over resistance 3. Step 4. Since voltage is the same in each part of the circuit, both sides of the equation can be divided by voltage E, leaving Step 5. 1 over 1 over resistance 1 plus 1 over resistance 2 plus 1 over resistance 3 equals resistance total. This formula is used to determine the total resistance of loads in parallel. For example, what is the total resistance of three loads? 10 ohms, 20 ohms, and 25 ohms. Step 1. Substitute the values in the formula. Step 2. Convert the fractions into decimals by using division. Step 3. Add the three decimals together. Step 4. Solving for RT by using reciprocals, RT is equal to 1 over 0.19, which equals 5.26. Another method used to determine total resistance when there are only two unequal resistances is called the product sum method. To use this method, first multiply the values of the two resistances to get their product. Then, add the values of the two resistances to get their sum. Finally, divide the product by the sum, and the result is the total resistance. The product sum formula is derived from the reciprocal method, starting with the formula 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Simplify the equation by eliminating the fractions using the common denominator. Therefore, 1 over RT equals R1 plus R2 over R1 times R2. Next, 
Cross multiply the equation and you get RT times R1 plus R2 equals R1 times R2. Dividing both sides of the equation by R1 plus R2 and the answer is RT equals R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. This is the product sum formula. The power consumed in a parallel circuit is equal to the sum of the power used by each individual load. If 40 and 20 watt lamps are connected in parallel, the total power consumed will be 60 watts. The total power of a circuit can be calculated by multiplying the values of source voltage and total current together. If the circuit current is measured and the total circuit resistance is known, then power total equals total current squared times resistance total. If the source voltage and total circuit resistance is known, then power total equals voltage total squared divided by resistance total. An open circuit in a parallel circuit will have a different behavior than in a series circuit depending on the point where the break or opening occurs. A parallel circuit has more than one current path. Therefore, if one of the paths is opened, current will still flow in the circuit. If the circuit is opened at a point through which total circuit current flows, the entire circuit is opened and all current flow stops. If any load in a parallel circuit becomes shorted, the entire circuit is shorted. The reason for this is that each parallel load is connected directly across the power source terminals. So when one branch becomes shorted, the circuit resistance drops to practically zero. When fusing a parallel circuit, the fuse must be connected at a place where total circuit current flows and must be rated to handle the total current. If each branch load must be protected, then each branch must have a fuse that is rated for that particular load. In case there is a sudden surge of current in that branch, the branch fuse will blow, allowing the rest of the circuit to continue normally. A short in a parallel network will usually cause an open. Either the protecting fuse will blow, or the conductor wire or component will burn out. Because a parallel circuit has more than one current path, it's difficult to locate a short without a systematic check of each branch. To locate a short in this three lane circuit.